What do you think, Gray? No, I didn't go to Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm creating a ballistic medium here. This is really simple. Use some packing tape and some toilet paper rolls and tape them together. Okay, so now you've got something that you can kind of see how far a bullet will go through. The reason I'm doing this is I'm kind of curious about how much penetration uh, an air pellet gun has compared to a regular 22. 22 is moving at about 1400 feet per second and it weighs about 40 grains. Now you're talking about a much lighter pellet moving about one-third that speed maybe. Right? Or Probably not a third that speed, but out of this rig, it's probably moving about 500 feet per second. Okay, so I'm going to shoot this with the 22 pistol, and I'm talking point blank. Just put the gun right up against it and see how many of it, these rolls it goes through, and then I'm going to put the pellet gun up against an identical one. So I'll make two of these and uh, see how far it goes. Just to see, I'm just curious. You know, obviously we could do the calculations and. Uh, and, uh, and, and get a number, but let's actually see some real world results. I think it'll be interesting. Okay, guys, it's about some crappy weather out here, so I'm going to uh, keep this short and sweet. And make sure this is all in the frame. I'm just going to be doing it right here. Hopefully, I won't destroy the railing and get yelled at by my wife. But I'm going to go point blank on this baby. Gun. Make sure it's safe. Okay. Now let's go explore that, alright? Geez, I wish I didn't have to go out in the rain. <laughs> Why'd you have to jump off there, you bastard? I'll be right back. So let's look at this thing. We've got the uh, you know the powder burn. And we've got the shot, and apparently the shot stayed in there. Now look, I see it ripped the bottom here even though I aimed perfectly straight I guess it and it looks like it got to here and then it stopped I don't know did it exit it might have jumped out hmm. perhaps not the most perfect ballistic test huh all right now I'm gonna go from the other end I'm gonna shoot it with the air pellet gun all right let's put the camera back I'll go get the air gun and, and I'll be right back guys and we'll just see if it does anything even remotely like that. My camera is getting soaked out here, guys. I gotta work fast. So first thing I gotta do is put in a fresh CO2 charge. I'm gonna fire the gun twice to get the power valve loaded. Okay. Uh, man, I'm not liking this weather. I'm sick of it. Okay, it's been like four days of rain, guys. I'm getting tired of it. Okay. So here we go. That should have enough juice in it. Put in one pellet. Okay, these are, I don't know, they say how much they are on them. I'll tell you in a minute. I just want to get this done and get the camera inside before the water ruins it. Okay, so we've got the pellet in there. Okay, you guys getting this? Let me make sure we're all in frame here. Poor camera, it's getting totally soaked. So I'm straight at it. Okay, you can see a hell of a lot less energy, but I'm just curious. So let's bring this uh, rig inside before my camera gets destroyed. All right, I'm going to try and cut this open without totally obscuring the view, but uh, I just want to see what the deal is. Okay, so this is the side we shot with the 22. And this is the side we shot with the pellet gun. Now, 22, it came through to about right there. And I'm really curious if the pellet went through even one roll of toilet paper because the 22 tried to get all the way through all right, I am not seeing a hole out of the single one as a matter of fact I've got a I've got a bulge Can you see that guys I've got a bulge on the inside and I wonder if I'll be able to find the pellet in there maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be a 
thought this knife was sharp, but I guess toilet paper was harder to cut through than I thought. Here's the pellet. Okay. Yep. I've retrieved the pellet. Awesome. Okay, so the pellet doesn't even make it through a whole half of a roll. Well, a 22, you know, it blasted through one, two, three, four, then it came out the bottom and it exited. It might have, if I had gotten the shot placement just perfect, it might have gone all the way through all five of them. So I thought that was interesting. I don't know if it proves anything, but it it kind of shows that a 22 pellet gun is definitely just for target shooting. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't hunt with it, and not unless you want to hurt something instead of killing it, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, there you have it. Quick and dirty ballistic test. Alright, rather than type all this crap in, I'm just going to show this screenshot to you guys so you can, if you have a scientific type calculator or whatever, go for it, man. But the answer is about one-fifth, which is almost exactly what my quick and dirty ballistic test showed. So here's a pistol. Let's call it, you know, 150 and 5 times 30 is about 150. So it's a little bit less than one-fifth of the power of a 22. But uh, here's the formula if you're interested in it. And that's all she wrote on that, guys. Enjoy.